Hi, my name is Nijette and I play cello in the Civic Orchestra of Chicago. This video is for the lower string orchestra students in Chicago Public Schools to help you practice while schools are closed due to COVID-19. Today we're going to be looking at vibrato. What I just played for you was a little snippet of The Swan by Camille Saint-Saëns. And it really highlights the beautiful sound of the cello and how we can get that through vibrato. But we have to start at the very beginning, which means that we have to put our cellos down and really just get the motion of vibrato down. So I want you to take your right hand and put it on the back of your shoulder. Lift up your arm as though you were going to play the cello and then just rotate your arm forward. So we go from about a 45 degree angle down to 90 degrees. Your elbow should stay exactly in the same place and I can feel the rotating in my shoulder. Can you feel that? And just get used to this motion. This is the motion of vibrato on a very large scale. So once you can feel that, leave your bows down, but pick up your cellos. And we're gonna do that on the cello. So remember, your shoulder, you can feel the uh, rotating, but your elbow is staying exactly in the same place. Put all of your fingers down on the D string and just glide up and down as we were doing before. And as you feel this rotating happening, then you can start to make it smaller. So if you see, even when it's smaller, it's still just the forearm that's rotating, okay? And I'm going through this quickly, but feel free to take your time at each individual step of vibrato. Next, I just want you to be on your second finger, put your second finger on the D string, so that's an F, and it's gonna be nice and light, and we're gonna continue to do this motion but just have the third and fourth fingers close by, but not down on the string. Okay. And then start to do a smaller motion. So I'm going from about an F. just coming from my forearm, nowhere else. Make sure that it's not just your wrist going back and forth. Really, you want this whole line to be one and nothing is separate. So if one, if the elbow makes the motion, the wrist and the hand follow through with that motion and no one is doing anything by themselves. So make sure that your hand is not down but in a nice straight line. And make sure that your hand isn't wobbling. Make sure it's all the same. Okay. So now refocus on that F. And then just feel what it feels like to be on, remember to keep a nice round finger and feel what it's like to go back and forth on the tip of that finger. And in order to do this, you have to ha make sure that you, you, your knuckles, everything in your hand is so relaxed. So why don't you take a minute and just let it all out. Make sure your hand is nice and relaxed. 
and we're just going back and forth. So. <laughs> and grab a metronome so this is my old school metronome but if you don't have one there are tons on the app store for free you can um, find them on Google anywhere but this is a must-have for any music student um, and I'm gonna just put it on 80 so it's gonna be 80 beats per minute And I'm going to try to do these, what we call oscillations of vibrato, this back and forth in time with the metronome. Okay. So first each one, we're going to do eighth notes. So it's going to be yada. staying in one place and it's just this forearm that's rotating back and forth. Okay. Now let's try triplets. Yeah da 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 going through these but really make sure that you have the eighth notes and then you can do the triplets and now we're going to try 16th notes so it's going to be four notes for um yeah 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 for the metronome for each time the metronome beeps one two three four da 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 and we're going to get a really slow but actual vibrato. See, even it's hard for me, but this is how you're gonna get a nice solid vibrato that can just go. Um, so once you do all of that on the second finger, then try it on all your fingers. The second finger, that's the reason we started with that it's just because it has the most balance in the hand, right? It's in the middle. It's easy to go back and forth. And it's easy to also for me to show you. But when I'm on my first finger, you still want all of the other fingers to be close by. And you're still going to see this motion in my hand. And then here's the third finger. And when I'm doing my full on vibrato, you can even see it on the fourth finger, right? So over time, this is going to take time, really delve into each um, section that we've just talked about. So first, take away your cello, do those big motions. Bring your cello back, do the big motions on your cello, then get smaller. And what once everything feels comfortable, then really feel what it's like to be just on your finger. Feel all the different dimensions in the air, move around, do circles with your elbow, really get used to this unit being one that stays the same. So your elbow, your wrist, and your fingers. Okay? And once you've gotten it on your second finger, send it off to your teacher and show them how great your vibrato is now. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during this time. 
Um, hopefully, uh, the Civic Mentors will be back by the end of the year to see you guys a little bit. But hope all is well. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.